Ah, uh, man, another day. What a day. I need to thank all the subscribers. I mean, in the Facebook group, we we hit uh, over 500 users. We give away uh, two spot welders, uh, you know, one for the 150, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, 250, and the other one for the 500. Let me, let me activate my YouTube account here. Sorry about that. I wanna, I wanna be able to see everybody here. Sorry for the last minute. So, and I wanna be able to see all the chat perfectly. There we go. Let me wait for more people. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be, uh, I have a request for somebody that asked me for the EV sales. Uh, I know we has been talking a lot about JP40 sales and uh, you know, but the EV is a great sales. Hey, how you doing Metro? Buddy, I'm gonna be testing here. And this one is a used EV, believe it or not. That's a, a 40 PL that I have spot welded. This 40 PL, believe me, I has been abusing, 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 even over 110 uh, amps discharging. And I keep going using it. Why? Because it's still performing like the first day. It's unbelievable. So, but anyway, I want to do uh, continuous uh, 45 amps continuously to see how these cell behave. Someone is asking for what is the sag. Well, let's see it. How much can sag the, the cell and how much can heat up the cell 45 amp continuously. So uh, we're gonna be testing that. Uh, now we are ready. I have here the chart, this charger. I mean, it's a charger, but we are gonna be discharging by that port in that resistor. This is a thousand, well, it's a 500 each. I have that connected, so the, I have a thousand watts available in resistors there. So, in that way, I don't heat up the charger. Anyway, the charger can do only 35 amps. With the resistor, I can go 45. That, that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, it's fully charged. If you see, it's completely fully charged, the battery. I have connected here this uh, fluke meter. We're going to check the... Um, the current, uh, I have connected, what else? We have this other fluke. Uh, we are monitoring the temperature. It's glued over there. Let me see if I can uh, fix the... Um, and I'm gonna be checking the voltage. That's, that voltage is due to probes, okay? We're gonna be testing that right now. So let's go and, and check it out. Uh, ah, wait. Let's, let's check temperature right now. It's 29. I mean, don't trust in this. This is not very accurate, but it's, it's so so much fun to see it. So I like it. So, and we can see the cable, how we're doing. Let me stand up so we can see this better. See, the cell is completely cold. I mean, let's see if I can fix this. I'm having an issue with this iPhone. Let's see if I can fix the, anyway, well, let's leave it like that. Uh, and just in case, I'm gonna be monitoring as well with this. So 29 is see accurate. So that's gonna be cool. So let's let's do it. 45 amps continuously. Let's see. Look, the first thing we want to see is the voltage sag that is gonna produce. So we're gonna not charge. We're gonna be discharging. Let's see if we can fix this. Uh, let's see, give me, oh, there we go. Maybe we can, okay, this charge, 45 is selected, and we're gonna start now. Let's see that sag. Right now it's reaching up, reaching up. Well, we can see it from here too. But we're gonna confirm with the, still in 4.1, it's going up, going up, going up. 35, oh, we have 40. Sag, 3.76, that's excellent, 3.76. And let's confirm the current. We have 44.8 out of 45, that's pretty good. I mean, accurate, I call that accurate. 3.6, and this is continuous, uh, 45 amps. 
Again, this cell is not a new cell. Let's see the IR. That IR is high because this cell is used. And anyway, that IR is not this is not uh, AC, is DC, which I, I call it good. Look at that, the power. 157 watts is producing the cell right now. 147. The voltage, 3.48. Let's confirm here. We have 3.61 in here. So this one, trust more than fluke because this one is reading by these cables. So we can have a little bit loss. So this is the real voltage. Look at that, over 3.5. And we have already, how many? minute and a half more than minute and a half and it's still over 3.5 that's really absolutely good temperature 40 at the moment and let's confirm with this let's see if i'm looking for 40 yep 40 on the pro that's good. We need to look at like a black area to read that. That's how we read that because in the in the glare, this one is going to have the same problem. Let's see. Uh no yet. No yet. That's that's the intention. We're going to I mean, we're going to test that the real uh light span, but hey, with Every, all the testing that I have done in this cell, believe me, I have been abusing, is still performing like the first day. We are gonna be, uh, yeah, cycling this cell. I'm gonna cycle this cell personally or uh, 1,000 times to see how it's doing. So let's monitor now the temperature. This device is gonna start screaming as soon as touch 60 degrees. It's gonna, it's gonna stop the test. We are in 50, but look at that. 3.4 is the, yep, actually in 50. I should change that, but that's fine. That's fine. We run for two minutes and 55 seconds, continuous discharging. So actually it's absolutely conservative. Uh, this device, I should change that to 60, uh, stopping in 50. I mean, this cell is made for 80 degrees, so we can push it all to wait to 60, no problem. So we stop at uh, that ball, but we get the point that we want to prove. It's absolutely amazing, you know, what can do this cell. Let's see the IR now. When the cell is hot, we can expect have a lower IR, that's normal. Let's see. I cannot change it here because I stopped this already. But if we want to see the truly IR, let me see. I have a dedicated meter for IRs. Let's connect this one. No, actually, I'm going to connect this other one. Easier to connect. I'm going to hold the cell phone here so I can use both hands. Let's read the IR. And this is gonna be ACIR, uh, what is called K method. Let's see, 2.59. Tell me if that's not insane. Remember, remember, we need to know, normally the EV 40 PLs is 3.1. What's happening is because the cell is hot, the more hot is the cell, the lower is gonna be the IR. Right now it's, it's still you know going down. So this IR is gonna keep going up as as the cell go goes uh more cold, it's gonna go back. See that IR is gonna keep going changing. Sorry for the glare. So it's gonna keep going up that IR. Actually a JP40, a JP40 in the um Ambient temperature state is 2.6, around 2.6. Uh, Patrick was saying today that his cells was in 2.5, but it must be that, I mean, in my opinion, that uh, was a little bit, I mean, hot in the area that he was. That affect the IR, so it's keep going down. So, man, you see how well this cell can handle 45 amps continuously. And even not only that, this cell can handle 70 amps continuously as well 
uh, of course, until heat the 80 degrees, all right? So I guess that was a nice test. I, w I should leave it all the way to 60. Next time I'm gonna leave it 60. And I'm gonna be testing this one too. I mean, later, that's a JP40. See, this, uh, hey, they are not brand new. And this is my testing sales, but they are just performing good. Imagine it a brand new one. They still performing even better. I mean, so they just do great. I mean, of course, you, you need a brand new one. We have brand new ones, I mean, everywhere. Let me see. EVs I have here too. Let me take out this nickel to show you if anyone need. We have them on stock. Brand new ones. So, but they just perform great. So I'm not gonna take a brand new one. I have more, I have more. But I'm not gonna take a brand new one for this test because I mean that one is just performing good. I mean and they're pricey, they're pricey. All right, uh, that was a quick one. I don't want to make it longer. Okay, you have a good one. Remember to subscribe to the channel, uh, subscribe to the Facebook group, please. Uh, it's the same name, DIY 500 amp is the group name in Facebook, and my website. If you wanna buy sales. We have them. We have them. We have them in stock. Uh, well, this is the stock that I have here. I have downstairs a, a bunch more. Uh, we just received the 50S uh, new shipment. We have the 50G. We have 40P. We have uh, 50E. Uh, that's all that's EV. This one is Samsung's. We have the JP40s everywhere, plus downstairs. We have the 18650s, 26V, uh, uh, 35V, uh, 33V, 25P, <laughs> you name it. Check it out on the website, diy400m.com, all right? All right, take, have a good one. Who says that? I look amazing, I'm interested in custom bags. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm actually, now that you mentioned, I'm working making packs for clients. That's custom packs. If someone need uh, packs, is I'm printing right now. Actually, this this other one is gonna be a 4P pack. So I make custom. See, I design that, and I make it here, and that's gonna be uh, for some customers. So I do my own uh, trays, custom trays. So you're going to have a nice one piece tray when you order, uh, at least for me. So this is ABS uh, material, which uh, support a lot of heat. And I print as well in uh, ASA. So I don't use PLA, those material, they bend. No, this is, this is for batteries. These hold a lot of heat. So it's made for that. And this design that I do, of course, they have battery holders, but very thin, so doesn't interference with the copper or the depend. I mean, if it's a regular pack, I make it in nickel. If it's a heavy duty discharging rate, I make it in copper. So, copper I have everywhere. I use this, this kind of copper, and I, I cut my own copper as well. The one like this kind this one is the one that i use for the heaviest heaviest load that is this is 0.3 copper if you notice so i make my own boss bars so all right i don't want to make this longer i'm going to be repeating the same test with jp40 and you can you can realize the sack is almost the same i mean both cells in my opinion they're almost virt virtually the same cell uh i mean is whatever you want, Chevrolet or Ford. All right, have a good one.